Hi friends, I am Parvati K. I am pursuing my degree in Shri Vaishnav Institute of Forensic Science. Well, without wasting any more time, let's hop into my presentation about intellectual property rights. So, let's take a brief note on intellectual property rights. Intellectual property right is any and all rights associated with intangible assets owned by a person or company and protected against use without consent. Intangible assets refer to non-physical property, including right of ownership in intellectual property. Well, it means that the legal rights given to the inventor or creator to protect his invention or creation for a certain period of time. There are some examples for these that are patents, domain names, industrial design, confidential information, inventions, moral rights, database rights, works of authorship, service marks, logos, trademarks, design rights, trade names, commercial secrets, computer software, etc. There are several steps in order to protect the intellectual property or remedy to take if the intellectual property is stolen. Firstly, we have to ask the person or company to stop using your IP. After all, IP theft is a crime, so the person may agree to stop using the IP immediately. Well, do you know the meaning of IP theft? IP theft refers to the robbing of people or companies of their ideas, inventions and creative expressions. In more complicated IP theft cases, we should take legal actions. As earlier Anushura told us in her presentation about reasons behind commission of cybercrime, there is lack of lawful act from the jurisdiction which motivates the cyber criminals to increase their crimes. So next is about the types of intellectual property. There are mainly four types. They are patents, trademarks, copyrights and trade secrets. But now we are only taking a peek at patents, trademarks and copyrights. Patents means patents are given to inventors in order to protect their inventions. In most cases patents are valid for 20 years from filing with the US government. Business owners and individuals seek patents so that others are unable to take their ideas and claim them for themselves. In some cases, this can be a bit tricky as people can reverse engineer inventions and tweak them, therefore avoiding intellectual property. The next one is about the trademarks. Trademarks are words, phrases, symbols or designs or a combination, therefore that identifies and distinguishes the sorts of the goods of one party from those of the others, according to the US PTO. For example, trademarks often relate to images, colors, logos, mottos or slogans, etc. The next one is copyrights. Things that are copyrighted are usually creative expressions and may include poems, books, paintings and software. Individuals as well as business may copyright their work in order to protect it from being used by others without explicit permission. Well, our last topic is about the protection of your IP because it makes sure that we won't fall victim to theft. Let's see some few ways to prevent IP theft. First is to figure out what your IP is. We have to figure out what exactly we need to protect and from whom. By doing this, companies need to make sure that all employees and anyone who comes into contact with the IP should understand what the company's intellectual property is in order to prevent intellectual property theft. Secondly, we have to figure out where the IP is located. After we have identified uh, the IP that needs to protect it, we have to locate it and implement policies and procedures to make sure your IP is protected. This includes cloud applications, employees' personal devices, third-party systems, etc. Third, we have to review that who can access our IP.
by implementing reviews of IP and sensitive data access, the risk that IP will be leaked is lowered substantially. Now, the fourth one is keep an eye on employee activity. Just like making sure that IP is only accessible by the right people, organizations should make sure to monitor employee activity within the network. This is to make sure that no suspicious activity is going on together with the fact that employees are less likely to visit suspicious sites and activities when they know that they are being monitored. Fifth, we have to make sure that our cyber security is up to par. That is, organizations should constantly, consistently check for gaps in their security protocols to make sure that attackers stay away. By conducting some assessments on a regular basis, intellectual property as well as other important assets can be protected. Sorry, protected. Sixth, we should use intellectual property management software. As we all know, technology plays a major role in our day-to-day -day lives. Likewise, technology helps keep IP safe today with management software to help you track your IP and make sure it always stays in the right, play, right hands. IP management software not only helps organization understand what their IP is and where it's located, it, it keeps it protected on a regular basis. Well, my friends, that's all about my presentation on intellectual property rights. I, ho I hope you all understood. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Thank you.